Hi, I'm Ken Arnold. You might remember me from such roles as Lord Reekenveld from the NYU student film Captain Valador, or as partygoer number five in one of the best movies ever made, The Devil Wears Prada. In this series of videos, I'm going to impart to you, the amateur actor, golden nuggets of invaluable information so you too can become, like me, a successful working actor. Today's topic, the headshot. Now, this is your calling card. It is the single most important part of your acting arsenal. You can be the next Sir Lawrence Olivier, but if no one sees your headshot and knows you exist, then that talent will be lost on community theater, murder mysteries, and medical reenactments. And we all have been there, haven't we? Okay, first things first. How do you get a good headshot? Well, find a headshot photographer, silly. But I don't have enough money. Don't worry, anyone can be a headshot photographer. It's easy, just grab a friend and a digital camera and shoot away. You're sure to get a photo that's gonna make your career take off. What if you have no money and no friends? What then? Use that high school photo that's been sitting around doing nothing, even if it was from 1982. Those people were professional photographers and probably took the best picture of you ever. And don't worry if you're 25 years past high school. With today's CGI, that's computer generated imaging, a Hollywood insider term, they'll take out wrinkles and slim you down anyway. As a matter of fact, just send in a picture of someone else. I'm currently sending in this pic. How about them apples? Now remember, casting directors could care less what you look like. They just care if you can act. And once you get in their door, how can they not instantly love you? Now, if your friend Neil got a great shot of you and you have to use a picture of yourself, but you think your wrinkles are too prominent and you wanna get those circles out from under your eyes, you take that bitch into Photoshop and you airbrush the shit out of it. Again, casting directors love to be kept on their toes. It keeps them sharp. Imagine what you would do if you had to cast a certain role and none of the actors who showed up looked anything like you expected. This is where great casting directors shine. They love it. Here's a quick tip for the ladies. Sex sells. Show off as much boob and butt as possible. Enough said. And don't leave casting directors wondering what role you can play. You tell them. Most of them are stupid. You wanna be a cop? Then you dress like a cop and carry a gun for your picture. A doctor? Break out the scrubs and a stethoscope. A crack whore? You get the idea. And one final tidbit. To be a standout, you have to stand out. 8x10, schmate by 10 You send every casting director a poster size image of yourself. You'll definitely make an impression. And they'll probably just hang it on their wall. Well, that's it for now. We'll see you next time when we talk about resumes. To lie or not to lie? That is the question. We'll see you next time. And we'll see you on the big screen. Damn. I'm good looking. Mm.